Welcome back to the channel here. We're going to be looking at how to use deep crossers and how you guys can add them to your own skin. You're probably already doing this, um, but maybe you only have one crosser that you're that you're kind of using. We're going to we're going to use two. We're going to set this up and we're going to show you how to use it. Where how I use deep crossers. How I mean, you see a lot of teams on on Sundays use crossers as well. So I have Brady in right now because he's hot rod master. So. Of course, that's going to give you the ability to put anybody on the field on a crosser. So I'm going to or I'm going to um, put Johnson and Gronk on crossers here. And again, they're just deep crossers. And I'm going to block my running back just to put a six-man protection out there. I mean, and no, nobody blocks anyway. This game is not good, man. It's not good. Let's try it again. Set it up here. Got good blocks. I mean, that's what you're trying to do. Hit the ball over the top. Let's go into the replay here. Right, you're trying to make it not easy, especially if this is really effective because typically that's where your user is going to be. Uh, well, not your user, but the your opponent's user is typically going to be responsible for the middle of the field. So whenever you make them play two crossers, it makes it a little bit tough here. So they rotate, rotate into like, uh, might even be like some kind of, variation of match right there and again i mean this is going to torch match coverage right a lot of your meta defenses this is going to be uh if you see like a one one single high safety in the middle of the field they're trying to run cover three typically you can get these crossers in between uh behind those zones makes them play their zone drops opens up the check downs right here match takes uh, i believe that's holland out of position here right following gronk across the field uh, if I can turn the thing the right way, opens up all this area in behind here for Johnson. Easy completion in behind, right? And this is also really nice too because you have like Scotty Miller on an out route, which is going to pull down any zones uh, for for uh, the slot receiver there. Kind of puts puts uh, a lot of people in conflict is what that's doing, and it's nice to have the out route. But say you don't have the out route, maybe you have some uh, some stuff underneath, right? Maybe you pair it with a few. Uh, like a few drags underneath something like that and this is just this is a pretty basic concept here i mean you can throw either of those crossers right like you can throw that i'm throwing that to johnson a lot let's run let's run with the gronk here one time though see if we can't see like right here we're getting single high safeties this is kind of what you want and i mean man coverage that's just that's beautiful right crossers are going to be man a ton of times especially if you have a route tech you're going to be able to eat on that as well and I just absolutely love having deep crossers. I mean, I didn't set that up right, but that's that's a good example, though. I mean, if you have a deep if you have deep crossers, a lot of times you can hit that pretty quick out of the slot too. But here, I mean, against two high safeties, it's pretty tough. But I mean, you can see these crossers. That literally wasn't the only one crosser there. But running these deep crossers really puts a lot of guys in the conflict. Half time. Just want to take a second to remind you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying. I upload every single Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new schemes and ways to make you better at the game. So let's get right back to the video. Okay, so now we're here in a little bit tighter of a formation. Let's just come out and post a little drag, I suppose. Any nickel 245 play. So now we're going to be able to put everybody in crossers. So like Gronk's already on a drag. We'll drag Johnson here as well. Kind of use those two as shallow crossers. And we put Scotty Miller and Mike Evans in behind him on deep crossers. This would be a great little play to actually run in a real game here. Just a, a very meta play. And I should have actually threw to the other crosser. He was probably more open. We'll set that up again, though. But you can definitely see here how, how these are working. Like here, they're sending zero, right? They're going to send a cover zero blitz. And I mean, that's that's tough to stop. Crosses are really hard to stop in, in real life and, and in Madden. Especially now that we're getting these fast guys in Mutt, we're getting 99 speed players. We are uh, on your theme teams and stuff like that, especially. You're, you're getting 99 speed players. And I mean, that B would have been open down the field, but it gets batted down. And you can kind of see, though, how these crossers work. Pretty simple. It's a very simple concept, but it does crush a lot of these meta defenses. Again, you're seeing a single high safety. They just give you straight up man coverage. I mean, that's just Scotty Miller, right? That's Scotty Miller. That's not, he doesn't have route tech. He doesn't have anything like that and of course this is from a tighter set so you do get to have the crossers on your technically outside guys and it's just it's very tough to stop and i mean you still have like check downs like right here i mean drags are a great way to make your opponent not necessarily just drop their zones back to 25 yards kind of keeps them honest makes you makes them think that okay you're not just going to throw the crossers deep every time or throw the corner route deep whatever it is in this case crossers right but you're not just going to throw those deep balls to 
to put the crossers here. You also can check the ball down to Gronk or right, right here. I mean, he throws a lot of Gronk. B was been open down the field. But just trying to show you that you can you can always keep these check downs here. And again, I mean, maybe you don't want to run the maybe you don't run crossers on uh, Gronk and Johnson, right? Maybe you just put those guys to the flat and run your crossers with the outside guys. This would also be another really good concept right here. See if we can fit that into Mike Evans. We can actually. And B was even more wide open if you have time. And that's why I do like to block the running back as well because once you block that running back, you get a six man protection. It's just it's really tough to really tough to stop. And I mean, there's a ton of things you can absolutely do off this, right? Ton of ton of ways you can set this up. And something like this would be also a great little play. Kind of pulls the guy. And Brady didn't quite have the arm strength to get it in there. But you can see the ball was, it was, there was an open window to throw that ball there too. So a ton of things you can do with this deep crossers is a great, great concept to push the ball down the field and beat a lot of these meta defenses that, that are kind of giving a lot of people trouble this year and not really, not even really just this year, but they're just good defense in general. Cover three, cover four, two of my favorite defenses, right? I mean, it's a really good way to play, a really good way to keep the ball in front of you, not let anything over the top, but this is a good way to beat them. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And let me know what you want to see next on the channel, tip-wise and, yeah, scheme-wise, tip-wise, whatever it is that you want to see on the channel. So, yeah, leave a comment, and, yeah, hope to see you next one. Later.